Get ready for a made in India journey to the moon. When ISRO launches its second unmanned mission Chandrayaan-2 early on Monday, it will boldly go where no country has ever gone before. It will be a giant leap in India's space program and its success will solidify its place among the world's spacefaring nations with Chandrayaan-2 aimed landing a rover near the unexplored South Pole. The Chinese mission landed in the northernmost part, followed by Russia's lunar missions. Most of American lunar landings, including Apollo missions, were in the moon's equatorial region. Imagine the lunar lander orbiting moon at a speed of around 6,000 km per hour. It must have autonomous capability to break its speed and steer itself for a soft and safe landing in an uncharted terrain of moon, that too, precisely at a designated site. What drives the dream ISRO to such quantum leaps? It is the belief in ourselves. It is team excellence. It is the learning from the past missions, both failures and successes. It is a sublime combination of the wisdom of elders and the innovative power of younger generation. Chandrayaan-2 will be launched at the Satish Dhawan Space Center in Shriharikota in Andhra Pradesh at around 2.51 a.m. on July 15th. It will land on the moon at around 6 September this year, clocking less than two months after being launched from the Space Center in Andhra. With a total mission mass of 3.8 tons, the entire project is set to cost Rs 978 crore. Chandrayaan-2 consists of an orbiter, a lander called Vikram and a rover called Pragyan. ISRO has named the lander Vikram in memory of India's space pioneer Vikram Sarabhai and called the rover Pragyan, which means wisdom in Sanskrit. Chandrayaan-2's lander as well as the rover will have the Indian national flag painted on them and the Ashok Chakra will be imprinted on the rover's wheels. Almost the entire Chandrayaan-2's orbiter, lander and rover have been designed and made in India and it will use its most powerful rocket launcher, GSLV MK3, to carry the 2.4-ton orbiter which has a mission life of about a year. Chandrayaan-2, a technologically challenging mission, requires multifaceted developments of various new systems for the first time with a very high level of perfection. Chandrayaan-2 is a 3-in-1 integrated spacecraft of 3,846 kg, comprising of an orbiter around the moon, Vikram the lander and Pragyan the rover. The challenge is to demonstrate our capability to undertake such a complex mission for soft and precise moon landing at its South Pole region for the first time. From its launch to the soft landing, the entire mission is said to take about 58 days. After the launch, it will take 16 days to raise the orbit and then 5 days to reach the moon's orbit. Once there, it will make an orbit around the moon for 27 days before the lander makes an attempt to de-orbit. After four more days, the lander will land in a difficult maneuver that lasts 15 minutes. Landing of Chandrayaan-2 is ISRO's biggest challenge till now. The 15 minutes when the lander separates and before its soft lands on the moon have been called terrifying moments by the agency that has never undertaken such a flight. The mission carries 13 Indian specific instruments for experiments. Imaging of rock will be done to find elements like magnesium, calcium and iron and also for signs of water. The mission will also study the exosphere of the moon. India's first mission to the moon, Chandrayaan-1, revealed important findings. The direct discovery of water on moon by Chandrayaan-1 in 2008 and further re-examination of retrieved samples 
for trapped water in lunar rock samples. The very thin atmosphere of the moon, called the surface boundary exosphere, also showed water content from Chandrayaan-1. We are now going to follow up the activities of Chandrayaan-1 with our own Chandrayaan-2, which will be enhancing what we have identified and make it more concrete, both in terms of the presence as well as distribution of water on the moon. Pure Report, Northeast Live.